a student at Cal Poly Pomona. My major is music industry studies and my goal is to obviously work in the music industry. Um, I hope to be an artist representative because I really love managing people, managing artists, and I hope that I can be super successful at it one day and manage all the big times, hopefully. <laughs> All right, I'm currently at Idol Tuesday Studio, which is a nonprofit in Pico Rivera. Um, I'm actually an intern for the studio as of now, and I have a whole bunch of lovely interns with me, which is also going to be my studio audience. Can I hear a clap? Yay! <laughs> All right, so today's tutorial is going to be about um, cable wrapping. So there's actually a certain way to wrap cables, which you know, people who are in the industry obviously know, and people who aren't, they have no idea, which is bad because, you know, there's a lot of pros and, I mean, a lot of cons to why you should not wrap them like this, you know? All right, so I'm gonna have my other lovely intern, Anthony, come up and show me how he wraps cables. He doesn't do music, so let's see how he wraps it, which is, Already a bad start. Okay, let's just see how grueling this is. Okay, let's just stop there. I can't, I can't take it anymore. <clears throat> so that's obviously how you don't want to wrap it. <clears throat> this is, I don't even know what this is. This just looks like a mess, okay? So I'm gonna show you the right way to um, wrap the cable, okay? So go ahead and undo the mess you made. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and grab this cable as well. So at the end of the cable wrapping, it should look a little something like this, like these ones I have here. So we are using XLR cables. These ones are quarter inches. So the way of, to wrap the cable, they can go either for quarter inch, XLR, anything kind of else you want you use, you know, like that's important that actually you plug in to get like signal flow or anything. So go ahead and start off with your cable. So I'm a righty, so I'm gonna start off with my right hand. I'm also a righty. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and wrap around. So we're gonna wrap around like so. So that's already a bad start. So you already have some kinks in it. So go ahead and kind of like lay out the kinks, let it kind of draw out like you would in a rope. Okay, so we're gonna go wrap around, okay? Already start again. Sometimes when the cables are wrapped bad already, that it kinda has those kinks in it, which is gonna make it a little harder to start wrapping. Some people like to leave their cords out in the sun because it lets them kinda get all the wiggles and stuff out. So. Let's start off with the other side for you, okay? Start off with the other side. Maybe that'll go a little bit better. Okay, there you go. Now you're gonna wrap around. There we go, yes. And then we're gonna wrap inward, okay? We're gonna wrap inward. Okay, so we wrapped around. We're gonna wrap inward, so go ahead and take, so grab, as, don't grab too much. You don't wanna grab a lot, because that's gonna make, you wanna just grab a certain amount and then we're gonna wrap inward like this. Okay, so we're gonna wrap inward. Like that? Yeah, do it again. Not with the same, undo it. Undo what you did and wrap it again inward. Okay, there you go. And then we're gonna wrap around. And then we're gonna wrap in. There you go, then we're gonna wrap around. For some reason mine already came out, came out bad, but we're gonna wrap, what do you want to do? We wrapped around? Uh, <laughs> we're gonna wrap in. Wrapping. I already lost track of where I am, so that's not a good thing. Okay, so I wrapped wrap around last. Around. Yes, and then we're gonna wrap Good. in. There you go. Wrap around. There you go. Wrap in. Wrap in. I like Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> wax on, it? wax off, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna wrap around again, or wrap in. Okay, so hopefully your cable looks like this at the end. 
of the wraparound. All right. So the reasons the why we wrap the cables like this is one, for safety. People who are in the industry, they use a lot of cables, um, a lot of cords, and you don't want any kinks, any um, knots in them, because people can slip, fall, you know, get your shoe caught in it, and that's not good, that's a liability. So another reason is for, what is it, for uh, the, oh, the life, of the cords. So these cords, cables, sorry, not cords. These cables, um, the more knots they have in them and the way you wrap them the wrong way is gonna, is gonna essentially shorten the lifespan of them. And you'll know when you have a bad cable because um, it'll have bad connection and you'll have to switch out cables. So the more they're wrapped properly, the better they are. Um, the better, better you're going to get the signal flow or whatever you're using to plug in a mic, you know, or a guitar amp for a quarter inch. Um, another reason is for the, when you store them. So when you store them, they should essentially all just kind of like lap over each other. You don't want cords like, see this one kind of didn't really get wrapped right. It's probably, it either got wrapped right or it's just like the kinks in it from it being wrapped wrong for a long time. So obviously when you pile it on, it's not going to, be so compact as the rest of them. Okay, so let me lay those back out again. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Okay, and so those are mostly the reasons why you should wrap them right. That and as from experience, I am a singer. People love it. Musicians love it when they see me wrap a cable properly. Okay, I don't know if it's a turn on for them, but for sure I get noticed from the other singers. So you don't want to be the singer that wraps it like this. They probably will never call you again. Okay, so wrap it like this and you'll get more gigs. All right, so those are the reasons why we wrapped cables. So I'm going to have Anthony come back up and he's going to do, we're going to do a little race, see how fast he can do it from the short amount of time I taught him. Okay, so undo Oops. these. On your mark, get set, go. Here we go. All right, we're already at 20 seconds. All right, you already have some kinks in there, so those are, that's not good. So kind of take it out. This race is to wrap it properly, not just fast and bad. So here we go. We are at 40 seconds. And another reason I almost forgot is when you want to lay them out is for speed. So when they are properly wrapped, people in the industry, they need like cords, like cables fast. Like, oh my God, can you get me in this cable? Can you get me this cable? So as long as they're wrapped properly, they can just throw it and then plug it in to whatever they have, whatever they need. And then that way there's no kinks in it, no knots. It's already wrapped. If you're gonna, unravel this, this would take a lot more time. People in the industry don't like to waste time. They like speed, 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 fast, fast, fast. Everything done super fast. All right, so it's already been a minute and 30 seconds and he's only done, uh, I'm gonna say half a cable because it's not that good still, but go ahead, try the next one, okay? Let's do it. I have a, I have some faith in Anthony, okay? All right, I gotta beat myself. Let's go, let's go around, around. Thank you so much, Anthony. All right, again, from what we learned today is how to wrap cables uh, for speed, for storage, and for safety. So uh, hopefully this video was very helpful to you. I hope I taught you the right way, and if not, you can always do a slow-mo of uh, where, when I wrapped it. You'll get the hang of it. So it's kind of the way the cord or the cable has its natural bend is the way it's gonna, it, it'll tell you how it's gonna be wrapped. It almost is like speaking to you, don't wrap me this way, wrap me that way. So again, we're gonna be having every week tutorials 
on stuff from Idle Tuesdays, not just from me, from my other lovely interns. So you'll get to meet every single one of them. And hopefully you'll find something useful to you that you'll need and, and use for one day. So if you want to go ahead and follow us at Idle Tuesdays, um, we have an Instagram. It's going to be at Idle Tuesdays LA. So go ahead and follow us. There'll probably be a picture of me doing this tutorial. So go ahead and like it, okay? Um, all right. So this is what you learned today. Um, hopefully, you see you again next week. And Anthony's going to be, you know, trying every week to get his speed of two minutes and thirty seconds for two cables. So hopefully, it'll get better. <laughs> Thanks, Anthony. All right. See you next week. Bye, guys. Yeah.